Tonight, a warning for boaters and swimmers who frequent the Chattahoochee River. A group that monitors the river says they found dangerous levels of E. coli in the water. Atlanta News First, Bridget Spencer is live from the RM Clayton Water Reclamation Center. That's in northwest Atlanta. Bridget, that facility seems to be the source of the problem here. That's right. The Department of Watershed Management says it was actually a mechanical failure that caused this whole problem. Meanwhile, it has people who visit the Chattahoochee River quite worried. E. coli being detected in the Chattahoochee River may sound like deja vu for people who frequent the river. This issue with the Arm Clayton Reclamation Facility and the one we had with Fulton County's Big Creek Wastewater Treatment Facility have been some of the biggest sewer mishaps that we've seen over the last 20 years. Jason Alseth is with Chattahoochee Riverkeeper. Their organization monitors more than 200 locations up and downstream. They recently detected high levels of E. coli downstream from the RM Clayton Treatment Facility. Our latest data indicates that it's 340 times higher than what the safe level is. The RM Clayton Wastewater Treatment Facility is failing and is not adequately treating the sewage that's going into the Chattahoochee River. Atlanta's Watershed Management Department says there were some mechanical mishaps at the plant. E. coli can make you pretty sick, causing vomiting, stomach cramps, and sometimes it can get serious. Olseth advises people to stay out of the water downstream in Atlanta, at least for now. Well, that would definitely be a concern because, you know, the children, they love to go down by the by the river bank down there. Andre Don took his children to the park upstream. He hopes the issue will be resolved by summer so he can have the ability to take his family anywhere along the Chattahoochee River. We would love to see something being done about it because June, July, August is right around the corner, right? And we would love to be able to um, enjoy ourselves as a family. Now, in a statement to us, the city says they are using disinfectants to lower those E. coli levels. In particular, as far as that mechanical failure, they're trying to work in, on repairing what they're calling clarifiers here inside of the plant. Still, there's no word yet on when these E. coli levels will get back down. We're live in Atlanta. Bridget Spencer, Atlanta News First.